So another great uh, day of price action. It's only uh, 8.30 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. And since 5 a.m. this morning, and we just had another trade fire off here a second ago with the arrow, is the price action has been just beautiful again this week with the algo. Remember, we only need to look for two setups, and it doesn't matter what markets you look at. Um, we have traders all around the world that trade different markets. Whether you trade futures, stocks, forex, currency, and crypto markets, Bitcoin works really well with this. Uh, this uh, algo will pick up the high probability trades based upon two setups. What I narrowed it down to, I narrowed it down to two setups. This is a culmination of work, of many years of work on finding the sweet spot in the market. What I noticed over the years, the market would come down to a certain uh, retracement. And on that retracement, you get a certain zone it likes to pop out of. And originally when Gerald and I first started this back in the day, I'd have little speed dots that would form when this happened, little red dots or little blue dots. But we never really had a picture of the zone. So what I did is I developed this algo to show the exact zone where the market should reverse. And it doesn't matter, like I said, what time frame you use uh, or what markets you trade. This zone, it should reverse outside the zone. The longer time frames will be more accurate because you don't get as many retracements uh, outside of the zone. Uh, so this is a 120-20 that we love to use. I have a different spin. I don't know of anybody in the world that uses this. Unirinko. Uh, I use a 120-20. I've never seen anybody use it before, but I came up with this. Based upon uh, on the setting, based upon these, these bars form really well. So it's a standard uh, Ninja Rinko bar, but I got my own spin on it. I use a 120-20 because it gives me good price action on retracements and continuations. So what we like to do is we like to look for these two setups. Now, these setups are comprised of a full retracement inside the zone. So you get these red parallel lines, I mean green parallel lines for an uptrend or red parallel lines for a downtrend. And this is my buy zone or sell zone. So the two setups that we look for on a daily basis, and you don't need to change your setups every week, every month, every year, if you statistically look and back test this um, as far back as you want, these setups happen on a daily basis. You don't have to wait for it to happen once every other day or change your system to the market conditions because interest rates went up or you know rates went down or you know so and so. So it the algorithm will pick up this based upon the movement of the market. So you're strictly looking at the algo strictly looks at where the market price is strictly looks for price action this is price action trading so what you're doing is essentially you're trading the rhythm of the market and i call it the rhythm of the market because these two setups will happen on a daily basis based upon the volatility so the first trade setup is the full zone retracement and this is a price action since this morning it's caught one two, three, four, five trades in a row, uh, all worked out since 5 a.m. this morning. If you recall yesterday in yesterday's video, it was what four for four, five for five. Also on yesterday morning, whether it be an FCR or a Momo, same thing. You got this nice price action that moved price. So we know the accuracy is there. We know the rhythm is there. We're with it because what happens is when these markets retrace, they're either going to re retrace inside this zone. These arrows will automatically fire for you. All right, these arrows will automatically fire here, 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 the, the, in the room. I got these automatically firing in the room for you on this 120.20 on the S&P ES. Now, this is the ES micros. So what I always tell traders when you're trying to get used to my system is you want to trade the micros first before you trade live monies before you trade the big contract because one tenth and the margin requirements only only fifty dollars for the ES hundred dollars for the Nasdaq futures etc it's, it's not five hundred dollars per margin requirement so it's a good way plus it's one tenth of the price move it gets you a good way to get in the rhythm of where to play stops 
how to get your runners running, and so on. So the first trade is a full zone retracement. That's where your price must reach the zone with an arrow below 20 or 80. So it's got to come inside the zone first. It's got to come inside the zone, at or inside the zone. Now, some traders like it two ticks outside the zone, which is fine. It just, if it closes two closes outside the zone, it's going to start turning red. So you'll see a red zone. See how it switched over? So here we had a sell signal. Here's a tweezer sell, and I'll go over this trade in a minute. I absolutely love this trade with the, with the uh, zone. That's a tweezer Momo with an FCR. I love these two setups. These two setups happen on a daily basis. But you can see right before this at 1.30 in the morning at 2 a.m., I had an FCR. We got above 80. Where we reached my zone, and their arrow automatically fired in the room. Okay, caught the high. Then a tweezer is two back-to-back -back dojis. You got to have the cross for a momo. You got to be you got to be below 80. You got to stay below 80. So here's below 80, and here tweezer and arrow fires. Here's a tweezer. So what happened was my algo will pick up the trend change. So these red and green parallel lines, what they do is they let you know when there's a trend change. So, so st uh, statistically speaking, the algo has not has called every single trade this morning since midnight. So for the past eight hours and 35 minutes, it has not missed a trade setup that has failed. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven trades in a row. All right, so the accuracy is there with the system. So what we're going to do is what we have to do is just wait for the setup. So the full zone retracement is when you get into the zone and you get that arrow that fires, which is reversal bar. And then, then if you get a trend change, you'll see it turn red to green. That means we're only buying. You only want to buy the side of the color of the zone. And then you caught the FCR. It came down. You got a little doji right there. You got right there's your arrow. And then we start exploding off this level. All right, so the FCR is one. FCR, you got to reach the zone. If this oscillator gets below 20, and I'm way away from the zone, that's an FCR away from the zone. You should not take that trade. An FCR is where you reach the zone or at the zone inside of it, and then you get the arrow. The second trade setup is a, called a momentum setup. That's where the bottom oscillator stays above 20, this green line. Or the best you can get, that's why this market just exploded this morning. I mean, the S&P was 39.73.25. And right now, we're trading live at 39.95. So we're talking 75 to uh, 73.95, 22 S&P points, just like that, based upon an extreme MOMO. When price action, what I found developing this and trading this is what I found is the best MOMO trades when there's momentum coming into the market is when you get a qualified FCR and starts punching the move. So what you're going to notice, and like I said, you can trade this on any type of market. Dow minis, you know, you can trade on the DAX, NASDAQ futures, whatever you want to trade is you see that you get this punch, right? So that, that's a confirmed move. It starts moving up. But the big punch, when the MOMO comes in, that's your big punch. Because the price action already dictated a move on a qualified MOMO. All right, so there's your qualified MOMO, I mean, SCR. What happens is, is when this oscillator comes down and stays above 80 or 20, 
and you get an error in the fires, that's called a momentum trade. You see how the oscillator stayed above 80? This is actually above 80. That's called an extreme MOMO when it's above 80. Look at the second MOMO trade. Stayed above 80. The oscillator came down, did not go below 80, my green line, and the arrow fired. You'll want the arrow to fire, by the way, because I have it programmed. The arrow will not fire unless it's a qualified trade. And that's based upon different filters that I put in. Not just this oscillator doing its thing or the... Um, it's got to have the oscillator. It's got to have the ATR the correct way. It's got to have the buy zone the correct way. It's got to have the moving averages the right way. I mean, there's a lot of filters that go into this before this arrow fires. So you want this arrow to fire on that. So the Momo, it got down here, and it never got below 20, and if arrow fired. Next one comes up. Stayed right at 20. I mean, it went right down to it. Got below just a hair, right at it, and gives an arrow. Then we fired up. Then this is a tweezer trade. I love these trades. We had one this morning here. There's my tweezer over here. Tweezer Momo. I love tweezer Momos because I got a red ATR, red cell zone, and my tweezer Momo fired right there. Two back-to-back -back dojis with an arrow. And then my tweezer Momo over here fired this morning. Those are continuation trades. And they're fast moving trades. So you don't think that's a big move, but then you put it in here and you're like, oh, wait a minute, 91 and three quarters to 95. All right, so that was relatively brisk and a fast move. Now you can take it to another level. So those are the two setups you want to do based upon that. But let's take it to another level. How can I anticipate? Before this comes up, or this comes up, or this comes up, or this comes up. What can give me a heads up to allow me to anticipate when major market momentum is coming in? Because as a day trader, you must have volatility. If you do not have volatility, you will lose over and over and over again. Because we have no room for retracements, or no room for continuations or momentum. So we got to find when this market goes vertical. And we have a chart set up, and the algorithm picks this up. And let me show you the momentum chart. This seven, seven for seven in the past eight and a half hours. Off this one twenty twenty. But take a look at this chart right here. It's my momentum chart. So what we can do now with the algo, we can anticipate when a major mo a momentum is coming in the market, and we can anticipate when a full zone retracement is going to occur, and when a Momo trade is going to occur. Which one's going to have the most punch out of all these trades? So out of all these trades right here, out of all these trades on this chart, all these trades, which one's going to have the most punch? Which one can possibly go vertical for us? You can use the chart. I have it on the real live room here to the far left. You can. What I like to do, if you have several monitors hooked up, Put this on your own monitor and leave it right above. I, I, I like to leave it on my own separate monitor and leave it right here like this. Because this tells me one thing. I have three zones on this chart. I have a deep zone that calls vertical V bottoms and V tops. Meaning what it does, yesterday morning, I called this out perfectly when it happened yesterday morning. I said we're looking for 30 as my target. I said price action looks like it's going to break through here, which I was correct because the algo was stating that. I said look for a VTOP, 30 should stop price, outer zone, came right up to 30, 29 and 3 quarters, I believe. So I missed it by one tick all the way down here when we were at 21.50. I was off by one tick and it 29.75. So, you know, it's pretty cool how this algorithm is that accurate. 
So one tick, I said 30, it should get vertical. When I talked that in the live room on the mic yesterday, sure enough, my 30 went vertical. Had a tweezer up here also, and she tanked. 30 down to, uh, what, 13? So that's just knowing the system, and I help you guys out with that on this chart. But on this chart, what's neat is, so here's my outer zone. I love to go V bottoms and V tops off this chart. Like I said, if you have your own, if you have multiple monitors, I'd put this on your own chart. It's that valuable. And I have an intermediate zone, which is my middle zone, and then I have my shallow zone also. So what I like to do is I got these vertical bars here that show you when all three zones turn green which is comprised of six lines, six dots. So when they all turn first green are these vertical lines. And when they turn first green on these vertical lines, you're going to watch for these red opposite color speed bars to start coming in. Once these opposite color speed bars start coming in, you're going to look for an FCR or a MOMO. No, this is my proprietary Renko chart. Uh, Gerald and I put this together. God, how long ago, Gerald? It's been a long time. Eight, nine years ago? Eight years ago? But it's my proprietary Sim Rinko bar. It's a Rinko bar that, that we uh, we put on our own, own server where you cannot replicate this anywhere in the market. So this tells me then, this tells me then, then when I see the red speed bars coming in, I got a possible reversal. I got a possible big punch up in the market right here. You got six speed bars that come in. I mean six uh, 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 green dots come in, which is three zones turning green. Look how big a heads up you get, Nick. It's 459. You don't hit a bottom to 508. So you literally have 15 minutes before this setup even comes up. This one, 318. And this comes about three minutes later. This one happened right away when it printed this morning. Everybody saw this one. 737. And it was about 10 or 15 minutes later on this one also. But notice every single one that turned red, opposite color of the speed bars. Look at the punch you get. So what you can do is you can let this set it up to watch for the major ones here. Here's five, and here's eight. Here's five, and here's eight. It caught the FZR, and it caught the momentum trade. All right, so that's what you can do. You can use those two charts hand in hand.